Hi and welcome to the third lesson of our Sabre School. Uh, today we're going to make the two-man exercises. I already posted like a week ago uh, how we practiced it. Uh, he didn't do it before and I actually sort of invented it for this exercise. So we, we sort of, uh, you know, enhanced on this and today we're going to do it with the Sabre. Uh, now this is Rashad, you probably have seen him in the trailer. Uh, we're both from Switzerland and I've worked a lot for, for the United States, etc. So uh, my English is probably a little bit passable and he doesn't really speak it. So uh, don't think of why is only this guy speaking. So uh, he's not mute, uh, he actually speaks. And uh, yeah, I would say we start with this exercise. After this, we're going to go over common mistakes with this double exercise that I showed you the last two times. Because they always are. Uh, so, okay. All right. Um, uh, let's do this exercise. Um, basically, what I have to say up front is if someone who's a swords master or anything, you know, a martial artist that, that actually does fighting as well. Uh, he will not do, you know, strikes like this or strikes like this because it will give the other the opponent the opportunity to, to take control of my arm and do stuff. Same here, right? It's extremely easy to interfere, you know, an attack like this. Um, now, as a swordsmaster, I want to actually attack absolutely in the middle. So he basically has, has absolutely no choice to do anything. We're going to lower it just a little bit, or you know, upper it a little bit, that we basically go very close to the center. That he still has the possibility to do something. So it again, one, and then here he has a vertical line where it will, you know, the weaponize me. And then he brings an attack like this. He shouldn't go too broad, quite close, you know. Because we're still fighting, it's not the choreography only. And I have to react to this one. Now, let's have a look at this again in slow motion. I'm coming in, he to fierce it with his arm, arm to arm. And then, if, you know, he can use this twist. I mean, you could also do it from here, don't get me wrong. But often, you know, people get a better feeling for the mechanics behind it. But it's really just the body that it's not the grip taking or using power. It's really just taking the saber and now moving his body to the side. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's really without any effort. Okay, and then, on the same time, now he's, he's attacking me like this. Now it's important, don't you? It's important that I keep, you know, my guard here, so of course to, to, to uh, be able to not be hit. And also, you know, that I, have co I control both hands here. Now this one, it's not something like this, you only go to your shoulder, but you move the body. Okay, and here, a lot of people grip like this, you need to grip like this. Because you're more powerful and you're more flexible to change anything. Okay? So I'm in control of both these things here. Now this one is, uh, is basically almost the same principle. It's just from the other side. Uh, this seat. So, so you can see, if he's really strong and he doesn't want me to, he doesn't want me to do this. He can block it. That I can't do this because he's not come up. You know. Then you know you have to make a change of plans. That's why I said. That's why I said we want to guard this hand. 
until we're sure, oh, this is going to work. And as you can see, you can even use your arm or your shoulder to even enforce it more. If it, if it doesn't work and you have no other possibility. But let's say it works quite fairly easily, then as soon as I do this, I can, I can basically let go of this arm. Because he would have to turn now to attack me. And there are so many possibilities to stop, to stop that before it impacts me. And then we're basically going to make a circle out of all of this. So you can see, I'm using the whole body with the steps. So I get away or back in. And there will be variations. Sometimes, you know, you, you will move differently because of, because of pressures you get, because of position the opponent will make, or of opportunities, you know, you might see you want to take, etc. So we're going to do it from the other side as well. You see, there was a question with the wrong thing. Okay. It's a possibility. Actually, it's a very good possibility, you know, and you're probably going to do this. But we want to make an exercise that, with time, you can exercise this with several, you know, uh, methods. You can really like, oh, this is an attack. He's taking it, you know, like, oh, it's serious. But then you do it like one, two, three, four. Um, what you can also do, which I think is great in the beginning, is really make it flowing. So there's there's no so there's no awesome. so there's no real delay in anything. Just move, move, move. Okay. Uh, now we're just gonna have a look at the double-sided exercise that I showed you. We're going to look at common mistakes. Um, Russia is going to try it. He hasn't done it that much yet, but he's quite proficient already. But there's still some common stuff that are very difficult to get rid of. For example, you know that the shoulder should not move. Yeah. And that you make every strike like a single strike. And especially the last one. The last one, people often go only until here. Really have to go until here. And uh, that was a mistake he made a lot, but now it's it's basically cured. So, yeah. And very important, not moving the body, not the shoulder. In this simple exercise, yeah, we really only want the wrist to move. And this is now base. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And exactly make that you hear this sound, this because I mean the target goal is that we do it like this, extremely fast. But you know, if if you start flowing too early, you're kind of positions that are really, really difficult to, to correct after. But yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you see, this is what a lot of people struggle, that you can actually, you know, go that close with the wrist, and I'm actually not as good as I was before. But you know, that's basically it. Yeah. And this is a lot better than, you know, like a week or two weeks before with him, so I think, you know, you will make progress in that. You can also post your own videos, and I can tell you, you know, which parts you should, uh, you know, look at a little bit more, etc. Okay. Um, a good exercise. Okay. Uh, a good exercise, um, which I didn't tell you yet uh, because I almost forgot it, is for this specific stuff is this. And now you grip the wrist, and you know you stretch it. Like this, this, like all kinds of positions. Um, if you don't, same with the other side, if you don't get there yet, go as far as you can and just practice it. I mean, I was able to do stuff you wouldn't believe. I mean, I'm luckily still able to do the grip and, you know, move a little bit. But with that, 
it really will come. You will be able that you don't have to use anything from the arm, that it's really just, you know, here. Because you see, when I say striking, I mean it's still one, two, three, four, because you need the feeling of, ah, oh, this is a strike. Because later, it's only the body and, you know, there, there's zero going like this anymore or like this. You all do it just by the wrist. You know, it, it stays like this. And you basically must move the body to change your height. But the rest is all done by the wrist in the same position, in the most secure one. For real fighting. Okay. Uh, we did the form last time. Uh, those were three moves. And we're going to add another one today. I don't feel that well, as I already said. Uh, it was a little cold last week and it still hasn't, you know, really gone yet. So we're just going to do one position. Um, right? And now from this one, where we stood off last time, we go back a little. Now we go. It's basically like a fencing, like sport fencing. It's from a, you know, it's Chinese um, sword technique. Now I told you, uh, you know, if possible, always keep the, the weight on one leg, you know, that you always can do something as fast as possible. But um, this really is one that you want to reach something. You are not in front of the, of the opponent, you know. You're like, oh, I'm going to get that one. So it doesn't matter. Just to explain that one. Now I'm going to do it from another angle. Now the position you have here is not just the grip. You really go like, because you want to overcome something else. So it's like, all right, uh, I'm really, I'm sweating, I'm feeling too good. Um, this is lesson three um, for this week. Uh, we're going to do lesson four next week, as always. And yeah, may the force be with you and wish you well. Bye-bye.